flashing custom ROMs in Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, Poco M2 Pro, Redmi Note 9S, Note 9 Pro, Redmi 10, Note 10 Lite. All these smartphones have similar uh, hardware but different in names. Uh, it will be applicable for all those smartphones what I mentioned. First check whether the ROM has advanced restart button or not. Here I don't have and also check out whether all the passwords are removed or not in the security. Keep it screen lock none. Then uh, turn off your smartphone and press volume up button and power button to boot into recovery. You will get a haptic feedback then you can remove the finger on the power button. Continuously press the volume up button as you can see. It's put it into orange fox record. This is the recovery I am using for Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. You can also use the same. Now here you can see it's recognized as fox because the ROM is encrypted here. You can select here uh, mount and select micro SD card. Okay. Now you can go to SD card in order to see the files actually. As you can see, there's all the files available. Now I need to flash the ROM. First go to this wipe section here and select this advanced wipe and Dalvik art cache and metadata data cache. That's it. Don't uh, wipe internal storage and micro SD and USB storage. Now wipe it. Unable to mount storage. It will show you like that only. Ignore that and go to files here and select what I said before. Select this SD card one. Now flash the firmware always first. I have Xcalibur, MIUI Xcalibur in global 13.2. This is the latest available firmware. Flash the same. If you have Poco M2 Pro, you can flash the MIUI uh, firmware. Once the firmware has been flashed again, it will show unable to mount storage as you can see. Don't worry about that. Ignore that for current time being. Now go to ROMs here. In this video, I'm going to flash this MIUI Mint as you can see 14.0.1.0 12 zip it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed in similar fashion any other rom zips also you can use if it is a vanilla build you need to separately flash the g apps also uh, they will recommend in the telegram whatever the uh, rom is developed by a maintainer they will specify which kind of g apps you need to use sometimes it's a mind g app sometimes it's a flame g apps those kind of g apps you need to manually install once it is a when labeled if it is a g apps build like this no need to flash any other thing after flashing this i will tell you within a while as you can see the rom zip file has been flashed successfully again it will show unable to mount storage unable to mount storage ignore that for time being as you can see install zip successfully you will be getting here in similar fashion you need to flash any other custom roms on this redmi note 9 pro max poco m2 whatever it is use the firmware different if you have different devices particular device firmware you need to flash that once this has been done again go to this delete section or wipe and select a format data and type here yes and press this tick button as you can see it takes a little bit of time again done now go to home section and select your menu and select reboot and select the system this how simple the flashing method for redmi note 9 pro max note 9s poco m2 pro and some other devices what i said earlier and if you want to root your smartphone after flashing the rom you can use magix uh, manager you can flash that chip in order to make the root that's it and if you have when labeled as i said before you need to use the g apps variant wait for to boot the rom it takes some more time for MIUI based custom ROMs, it takes a lot more time. Wait until it gets booted. Don't uh, turn off or turn on your days continuously. As you can see, it took me around 6-7 minutes to boot into this MIUI logo. After this also, you need to wait sometimes. It depends upon completely the ROM. Some X pixel experience kind of ROMs may directly boot it. So wait until it gets into booted and uh, this is how simple guys if you like the video give it a like and if you are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever I upload a new video you will get notified for this uh, review you need to wait for 
couple of hours or couple of days we will be making the full review of this Mi Mint 14.0.1 based on Android 12 for Redmi Note 9 Pro Max stay tuned to my channel that's all guys in this video we will meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now